What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're looking good. I hope everything is great. Today we're doing some more Amber the Asshole Random Edition. However, I will say I picked these out and they seem like they have a similar kind of thing in common where it's like husbands and children um, and mothers. That uh, seem like the overall similarities in these. Um, if you don't know me, don't know who I am. My name is Creations. I do a lot of Amber the Asshole and read a lot of random subreddits here and there. And then if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, I apologize. I feel like I'm starting to slur my words. Um, if you like to follow me on any of my social media, it's going to be creations underscore reacts on Instagram and JOKV underscore creations on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. Um, let's go ahead and get into some of these Am I the Asshole because you just might be. All right. Am I the Asshole for telling my mom I'll never let her husband adopt me and she needs to get over it? Um, doesn't say, but this is 12 hours ago. I actually just clicked on the most recent ones and they all kind of seemed like they had a similar theme in a sense. Um, so that's what we're going to go on with. Uh, but with this as a question, I, uh, she would need to get over it too. Cause that's like an optional thing. I, some people might not want to, some people might, uh, to both the part, all three parties being the, um, the parent, the biological parent of said child, the child and the, uh, adoptee, adoptee, adopter. So you gotta be on one accord. And if not. Eh. But you know, we're gonna judge. We're gonna judge classy yet sassy, okay? Uh side note, I did uh do a I did record prior and I had a prior video before this one, but I think I did too much in that video and I kinda don't wanna show it. Um if y'all like me to show it, okay, but I will say I talk a lot more than what I'm about to do in this one. A lot of side rants, a lot a lot of this, and I even tell a story. So I'm very iffy if I wanna put it up. Mm. Let's get into this. My parents broke up when my mom was pregnant with me. My dad was in the military when I was little and when I was five, he came home all fucked up from what he had seen and he was never the same again. He ended up doing drugs because medications and therapy weren't helping him and he was doing really badly. I'd, se I'd see him cry a lot and hold his head and I know he had flashbacks and relieved, relived stuff while I was there but I never felt unsafe. Just really sad that my dad was hurting. My mom ended up suing for full custody and got more custody of me, but I still got to see my dad every other day or every other weekend. Mom hated it and tried to fight that, but the court appointed therapist. I should still have every other weekend with dad. Mom got married to Dan when I was nine. After they got married, the two of them sat me down and asked me how I'd like Dan to be my dad legally. And we could be a family, all three of us. I told them I already had a dad and I didn't want another one. We went back to court and I found out while speaking to the judge that it was because mom had tried to sever dad's parental rights and put in a, petition, a petition for Dan to adopt me. The judge asked me how I felt about it and I got so scared that he would do it and I begged him not to and I said I didn't want Dan to be my dad and I didn't want to lose my dad. The judge listened and denied the adoption request. Mom and Dan still fight against me seeing dad. Mom has taken my phone from me a few times because dad and I would text during the week. When I was 12, mom told me dad had picked drugs over me and I have Dan now who would never do that to me. She told me he would be a much better father. Woman, you don't know who's gonna be a much, well, let me go ahead and say this. You cannot tell a person that this person is going to be their father even especially if their other father is still alive and though might not be doing the best the child is going to choose who's their father at the end of the day in my opinion um now in regards to like a, t a caretaker and stuff like that you know like who's at least financially giving something you know um well, maybe not even financially but like you know so, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I feel like y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like, at the end of the day, that's still going to be her father, even if this person is still helping out here and there, you know? I, I'm terrible at wording things. Um, let, me so, let me see where I live off. 
uh, do that to me. And she told me he would be much a better, a much better father. I told her Dan wasn't my dad, and no matter how much she hates dad or thinks he's terrible, I disagree and love him. And Dan will never be able to compete with that. Those are facts. Dan has asked me himself a few times to let him adopt me. He told me he loves me and wants so badly to be able to look after me. He told me if anything happened to, mo to mom, he would hate to see me live with dad and be taking care of him. I told him I would rather be with my dad than stay with him, someone who isn't my dad. <sighs> I know that's gotta hurt. He got mad a couple of times and a couple of other times he told me I was showing how young I was. I'm 15 now, by the way. Let me go back to that statement because I feel like we all heard that and I just want to make sure we heard it right. He got mad a couple of times and a couple of other times he told me I was showing how young I was. I'm 15 now, by the way. I don't know okay first off she is a child so she's I say she um this is she, she needs to get over it yeah it's her right I don't know they them um but yeah it's like I don't know why that did not sit the best with me because you want to say it's showing how young the person is I mean they are young but the thing is, they're not dumb. They're not. They're not fully like I. I feel like a lot of people be thinking that children are dumb. They know more than you would think. But at the end of the day, this is how this person feels. They don't want you to adopt them. I think they should have an option in that regards. And guess what? They do. So until they feel ready, you have to be patient. If they don't want it, they don't want it. You have to be accepting of that. And I'm talking about the uh, parent, the dad, uh, Dan, or whoever needs to be accepting of that and if they can't accept that then it is what it is you know it is what it is and therefore it feels like they're forcing it if I'm being honest that's what it feels like from this but let's continue so my mom decided to approach dad and ask him to willingly give up his rights so Dan can adopt me and she would let him call me once a week and see me once every two months dad said no and mom cursed him out I waited until she was done and I told her I'll never let her husband adopt me and she needs to get over it. She told me she cannot understand me dismissing a good man who loves me and would do anything for me for a man who can't get off drugs for me. I told her Dan doesn't have to live with the demons my dad does. She told me I'll regret my decision in the future and I'm being stubborn for no reason. Am I the asshole? You wrote this really nice if you're 15. Which is... Uh, do people actually write these? I'd be so iffy. But, um... To answer said question, am I the asshole for telling my mom I'll never let her husband adopt me and she needs to get over it? I don't think you're the asshole. I feel like they're both really pushing for it. And it's like, you don't want to. So guess what? You have the overall say. Like, if I think so that you don't have to. You don't have to let this person adopt you if they don't want to. Like, they're really pushing for it very hardly. I am gonna skim through some of these comments. Just skim. Oh my God, these are, this is a, it's a big one. That's a, that's a big one. Big. Oh, okay, OP actually responds to this. I'm gonna try to be quick, but still enunciate and, you know, whatnot. Not the asshole. As someone who was adopted and grew up with separated adoptive parents from an early age, I am not a fan of some outsider trying to claim me. My stepdad pulled something similar when I was in middle school while my father, who adopted me, was still very much in my life. It's one thing if you think of him as a father, but it seems like you don't. So having that role forced onto you is extremely unfair in my opinion. It is regardless of what his intentions are or how pure they may be. If Dan wants to support you, he can easily do that without getting the law involved. I feel like there's more to why he's wanting this than meets the eye. It does seem like that, right? That that, that really did word it a lot better. Um, Because if you're forcing it, you're for, they're, it feels as though they're forcing it very heavily. 
that he got to give up his rights, that you should get him. Is that the, it's like, bro, if the child does not want it, want this person as the adoptive daughter, guess what? They don't have to. That should be an option, and the father should be the uh, Dan should be okay with not being like the I guess the uh, legal legal guard legal guard, legal dad of said child. They should be okay regardless. You know, like I still support you at the end of the day. But it seems like that's not it. But mm, we'll see. Yeah. I'm. I want to. Is OP just responding to a lot of people? Okay, they're responding to some, but I kind of. I'm just gonna read the response, and that's it. Not just the one. Uh, they want to cut my dad out of my life completely. My mom, especially, she has tried for so many years, but the only way his parental rights could be cut is if someone is able to adopt me. And my mom wants that more than anything. She doesn't care about what it does to me because she feels like it's what's best for me. And parents don't always know what's best. They can be wrong as well. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, these comments. But yeah, my opinion, do I think of that? So no. I feel like you should have the right to be adopted by said person if you feel like they are a father to you and if not and you don't want that then don't next am i the asshole for how i checked my parent oh let me read this again am i the asshole for how i checked my pregnant neighbor for how she was acting with my husband mm? how was she acting was she acting very flirtatious times my family meaning me husband and two daughters live directly across from our neighbor ad addy maybe 80 80 maybe i don't know how to i'm gonna say 80 uh who is from what i remember six months pregnant our neighborhood grew close when her husband died two months ago due to a drunk driver the entire neighborhood basically came to help and even now the community still does semi-monthly ish barbecues and stuff we know how it felt to have a parent absent now no my husband did not die but he was still developed developed nope deployed there we go when we were pregnant with our first i know that this is not the same thing she is going through so we often check on her, invited her over, conversations on how to handle being on your own while pregnant. For a couple of weeks now, she's been asking my husband to be her handyman. My, ha my husband has no issue with this and neither do did I until a week or so ago. So uh, she asked my husband for help over the simplest things and barely talks to me anymore. Most times she'll knock, ask if my husband is home, and if I say no, she tells me to let me know she needs him and walks off. That does come off a little bit. Mm. No talking, having chai together, nothing. I can admit I am a little bit jealous and felt weird about this. It was like she was only wanting my husband around. I tried to push things aside until the first incident. Basically, she knocked on my door and handed a cover plate of cookies. I got so excited and started to thank her. How the girls love cookies. But she interrupted me and told me that these were strictly for my husband, not for us. I had a sour taste in my mouth and thanked her. It made me feel like she was trying to have a big house and little house situation. I let my husband know what happened and how I felt. He assured me nothing was going on, no doubt, but also agreed that she did what she did was disrespectful. We agreed he would stop going over. He would give her the numbers of men he knows who do the maintenance. All right, okay, so... We're now in the middle and things are starting to get a little on mm, because it's like so far it was decent and you know no issues but now she's kind of coming over specifically wanting him not really wanting to chat or really talk to anybody and she made cookies for specifically him at that point i'm looking at you sideways mm. Mm. she has been cold with us the second incident um she has been cold with us. The second incident happened when the community was having a barbecue in our neighborhood park. The children were running around and us 
adults were sitting with the lawn chairs talking about whatever. AD piped up and said she is grateful to us all for helping her. Even me after it was strange how you basically forbid your husband to come over to help anymore. Oh girl, you said that? Oh, she said that? Out loud? Oh, I got a little mad like I was slapped by God himself and just said, well, baking a gift for my husband only and saying his wife and daughters aren't included is strange too. I would say that too. Another neighbor changed the topic. It was awkward. I would say it's awkward too, but um, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know about change the topic. I think I might want to listen. Because <laughs> you're throwing one jab, she's throwing the other. If you're if you, if you going you to say something, be ready to possibly have a comeback. Or get hit with a comeback. You know what I'm saying? That's all, that's all, that's all I'm saying. I'm sure there's gossip and whatnot on one hand i know she must still be grieving and maybe she's just looking to have someone to be there for on the other hand i feel like the incident with the cookies and the then the barbecue makes me feel disrespected i would feel a little bit disrespected too my husband is not happy with how i responded okay and she shouldn't have made the statement that she made and then she might not have gotten the response she got I think she could have, you know, left out. She said, hold on, let, let's go back to what she said. It was, mm, hold up. And, and said she was grateful to us all for helping her and even made, and even me after. It was strange how you basically forbid your husband to come over to help anymore. See, comments like that, that might give a uh, response that you might not like, you know. And I might say, well, baking a gift for my husband only and saying his wife and daughters aren't included is strange, too. If you want to say something strange, be ready. I'm going to say. Uh, but in regards to that was a response. Is what it is. He says, it is not my job to check someone and I should have just let her talk. Oh. I'm going to check somebody if I feel like they need to get checked. I'm going to leave it at that. I guess I just want to know if I was a jealous asshole through all of this. I don't really have anyone I could talk to about this personally. Okay. Before I look at anything, for me personally, do I think they're the asshole? Uh, let me go back to the thing. Am I the asshole for how I checked my pregnant neighbor for how she was acting with my husband? Personally, for me, I don't think it's bad. I mean, like, she made a comment because, you know, she thought it was weird. Like, you know, well, not letting your husband help me out anymore. Well, I mean, I thought it was weird that you brought up a cookies, not for me or for my uh, children, but only specifically for my husband. Hmm. You could have just said, you know, these cookies were to thank your husband. And then, you know, if we ate it, we ate it or, you know, whatever. But you said it was specifically for him. It's a little odd. It's mm. so all I'm going to say. It's so all I'm going to say. Comments, what are you saying? I'm curious. I would like to know. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to read the one. We're not going to go all the way down. Not the asshole. I get that she is grieving and probably not in her her right mind, but the cookies things was weird. See? If she said, I made them for husband as a thank for... Mm -hmm. For all the work he's done for me, that's fair. But to say they are strict just for him, that's weird. And you are basically politely letting it go until she called you out in public. So I think it is fair to answer her in public. Same. Plus, honestly, how much DIY or maintenance help does one house need? It's been two months since her husband died and your husband has had to go over multiple times as a single woman who is useless at DIY and has to get someone in to fix almost anything. I don't have, I don't having people calling monthly, never mind weekly. Oh yeah, because I mean, honestly, there are single parent households like obviously this did come out of nowhere so it is still she's still in the grieving phase understandably so but i don't know yeah it, i'm trying to think does she have any other kids i think she just has like she's pregnant and sadly the husband is deceased um 
correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I, I uh, kind of don't feel like going through all this. Let me be honest with y'all. Uh, while pregnant. I feel like looking through all this. Let me be honest with y'all. I'm going to just go off the... Uh, is she had asked is she be asked over checking her my opinion no no I feel like she made a comment in public that was like a little bit like shady and it's like mm -hmm. it might be hot out but I don't think I need that much shade so I'll just respond to you with some shade too let's let's get cool together okay so what I'm gonna say my opinion do I think she's an asshole no but let me down in the com let me know down in the comments um, and lastly, am I the asshole foe telling my mother that her marriage is not my is none of my business? That's not the asshole, and I wouldn't see it as any of her business either, but let, let's see why. I'm a 36-year-old woman married to an amazing and beautiful man. I'm successfully successful and happy. Go on, girl. However, my life wasn't always so great. While growing up, I never had a close relationship with my parents and siblings. Two older brothers, one younger sister, they did things together that I wasn't interested in, and my parents never had any time for me. By the time I was a teen, I just realized that I wasn't important to them and made peace with it. After I moved out, it was almost as if family didn't even exist. I went years without talking to my siblings and only spoke to my parents once or twice a year. Fast forward to about what, about eight months ago, I found out that my father was cheating on my mother with the former friend. My husband and I were on vacation and coincidentally, my father and his side piece were staying at the same hotel as we were. Okay. We saw them come out of a room together, arms around each other. My father turned pale, but I didn't say a word to him. My husband and I just went to stay at a different hotel because I didn't want our vacation ruined. About a week after we came home, my father showed up at our house. He had been calling me all week, but I ignored his calls. He begged me not to tell his wife. I told him I wouldn't because simply I don't care. Cut to two weeks ago, the side piece contacted my eldest brother and told him everything. Apparently, my father had dumped her and she wanted to get back at him. She also told him that I knew. Of course, my mother found out and called me. She screwed, screamed at me about betraying her. I just told her that since I was never a part of her perfect family, the state of her marriage was none of my business. Then I blocked her. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see? Y'all heard that? Y'all see my mouse? Y'all see my mouse? Y'all see the mouse? Okay. Then I blocked her. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Block. <sighs> my husband supports my decision to get to not get involved, but feels that I may have been a little too harsh. I'd like to know what Reddit thinks. Am I the asshole? My opinion, no. I'm not even going to look at the comments. No. I, I don't know. Give your thoughts, but for me personally, no. no. I feel like this is the only person that has actually done something. Obviously, I'm pretty sure we've gone through a lot of am I the assholes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And a lot of them just let them people berate, like, not berate them, but, um, just come at them and not block them. And I love that she blocked her. Okay. I love this. We have some that do cut contacts and stuff like that. And they do right and do what they need to do for themselves. But sometimes people be willing to like let people just, you know, say whatever. And I feel like for some people it's like mainly because it's like family. But it's like y'all don't have to do y'all own beat. Do it for you. Block them for you. Okay. Do it for yourself. Do it for your happiness. Or just, you know, block them temporarily and then unblock them when you feel like it, you know? That's just me, personally. All right, recap. Am I the asshole foe telling my mother that her marriage is none of my business, my opinion, no, and none else needs to be said about that? Am I the asshole for how I checked my pregnant neighbor for how she acting uh, with my husband? 
Uh, my opinion, no, I don't think she's an asshole. Um, if you want to say something publicly, like you said, and shade me over here, I'm going to shade you over there with the response, okay? Okay, it's a little hot out. Feels like it's becoming summer. Summer's trying to check in early. We're not doing that. Some shade may be thrown. And then Emma, the asshole, for telling my mom I'll never let her husband adopt me and she needs to get over it. Uh, my opinion, do I think it's an asshole? No. Uh, if you don't want that person to adopt you, you don't want that person to adopt you. I feel like you should have a heavy say in that. Um, and if you still feel like your dad is your dad, then guess what? He's your dad. The other person is just a legal guardian, in my opinion. And it does feel like something else is going on because they're really pushing for it. So I side eye it heavily. Um, I'm second guessing if I want to put up the previous video that I already made before. I made this but I'm thinking I might just scrap it because I, I said a lot in that I was ranting a lot I feel like in this one I wasn't doing as much I made little side comments but we stuck to the story that other one when I tell y'all I was talking a lot more than usual I even gave like a story which I don't think I need to do this I don't when I get on here I'm mainly just giving y'all my reaction to these comments I don't really give a lot of me I might give little tidbits tidbits little little tiny things um of what's going on maybe if i've been gone for a long time or something but i usually don't really tell too much about my life because it's just not needed in my opinion for these stories i might give some if i have experience but a lot of these i don't have experience in so i i can't fully like i can at least attempt to relate and obviously these are my opinions but duly note that i've never been married i've never had issues like these some a lot of these um if anything maybe like being uh, treated like uh a doormat or something or the butt of the joke i could probably relate to those sometimes but a lot of these i really can't like i've never been in those uh, situations so obviously when i say this i'm usually just giving my own opinions in regards to how i probably would handle it in said situation but you know take it with a grain of salt um i'm gonna go ahead and dip out and do I gotta record more videos honestly today I'm not actually going to work I'm just gonna be recording today so I'm gonna go ahead and do some more videos y'all have a lovely day I'll this that whatever oh I did put up a poll I put up a poll about the whole Diddy thing if y'all want to um see that I might not put it as like a video unless y'all want me to um but I'm thinking about just live streaming it and we just watch it together you know that's an option love and that's one of you guys deuces pieces Reese's pieces bye